All right, hey. Hey, good, good crowd. Good crowd out there tonight. Real, really good crowd. Appreciate Steve and his crew. Like getting people out there. Obviously, our guys responded really well um, after a very you know, tough, tough weekend. You know, when you lose two games at the, you know, on the last possession. But uh, you know, we we really shared the ball. Um, we shot the ball, and, and we did a good job on the glass. We still got to take care of the ball better. It's disappointing. Under the first half, we had four out of five possessions, turnovers, and we can still guard better. Um, but you know, uh, you know, I mean, you make 16 threes, you, you, you're probably going to win. If you don't, you got you got all kinds of issues. Well, I mean, I'm not going to, I don't want to sound like a, a smart aleck, but you, you don't as a coach. I've never been a part of any 32 years and said, hey, let's not get off to a good start. I mean, you know, I would tell you uh, a game at Drexel uh, before the game, Nigel Russell told me I should be a motivational speaker. I said, really, it doesn't seem to be working very well. Um, so, you know, you, you, ju you just don't, you don't know. Um, and actually, we didn't get off to a very good start tonight either. It was 7 to 2. I mean, you know, so. You know, that's something, obviously, that I've got to do a better job with. Um, I just thought our pace was good. You know, we we shared the ball. But, you know, the, the it's also important in the second half. We got off to a better start in the second half. The other night we didn't. And, and it's hard to win on the road. Uh, we have not won a lot of one-possession games. We're one and seven in one-possession games. Uh, that starts with me. But, like I said, we have a group that wants to be good and, and – you know, our offense is playing at a, at a really high level, but it has. I mean, throughout COVID, the last three seasons, we've been one of the best offensive teams, top three in the league every year in offensive efficiency. Um, I still think we can guard better, but, you know, we'll see. They've got, they've got hard guys. You know, Davis and Nelson are, are really talented players. Yeah, we, it happened because on five, we turned the ball over. We had live ball turnovers on four out of five possessions that led to easy runouts. You know, there is, unfortunately, no defense when you throw a pick six. Um, so we, we've got to be better at that. We did have we had too many turnovers tonight, um, but I thought the guys reset it. You know, you, you know we're gonna go with Nick and Cam. Charlie was really good. Charlie's a warrior every night. Nick and Cam play at a high level, and, and not that you know Cam didn't really shoot the ball, but. 11 assists is a lot of, a lot of assists, and obviously Nick was, Nick was on fire. Nick was really disappointed, the other, you know, after the weekend, and, and I know he he doesn't know I know this, but I know he brought the team together at about two in the morning when we returned to campus and apologized to them and took ownership of it. And, and those two guys really want to win, and, and all their goals are still in front of them. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I mean, that's ridiculous to shoot that well. That won't, that won't that won't happen again. That's just good players and guys guys sharing the ball. You know, um, yeah, I'd like to take credit for that. I have nothing nothing to do with that. Yeah, it is because he's a key piece. He works really hard. He's talented. Um, you know, I think when when obviously you're playing at good pace and you're making shots, the, the the game gets easy. I think where we've struggled at times is when we've labored a little bit to score. We're not quite some of the teams I've had. Some of the teams I've had in the past couldn't score, but we were we were like you know, like playing in the mud. You know, this this team doesn't thrive as much playing in the in the mud, unfortunately. I know you didn't play great defensively up to your standards, but slowing down guys like Asimo, the other players aside from Nelson, and how, how important is that? Yeah, no, I think it is. I mean, the other night, you know, guys made they had a kid go four for four from three. That was shooting 21% from three on the season, and he just rose up and made shots. We, we've, you know, in, in some of our losses, we've just had some of those, like, you know, what's that, like Murphy's Law? You know, what's behind door number two? And we, you know, hopefully, hopefully we're, we're hopefully we're past that. Um, you know, it'll be a big game Saturday. Like I said, uh, really good crowd. Uh, I've I've been happy with the progress with that. Hopefully, we have another one, another one on Saturday. Um, a and T's good. They're really good. The kid Cam Woods is, is probably the hardest guy to guard one on one in our conference. Thanks. Thanks, Coach. 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 Thanks, Coach.
Did you? I think so after that, man. I'm sure the dude from Wheel of Mary got it. Thank you. Oh, no, sir. Come through a rock and ocean, but that's yeah. the beauty of the down. I can put bubble gum there. What did you guys emphasize after the last one? Um, just defense. I mean, it wasn't up to par today because we were making shots, but uh, we've just been drilling defense all week since uh, since Monday. Um, I feel like that was a, a big key in both losses against Drexel and uh, William Mary. So we just trying to get back to Towson defense. What about you? What did you feel tonight? How did you feel starting off? Um, I mean, not going to lie, I was in a dark place after uh, William Mary going one for nine, probably worst game I've had here. But um, I just short memory. Um, just get back in the gym, get shots up, and uh, just forget about it on to the next game. Uh, I mean, it's huge uh, coming back home to a huge crowd. I mean, we always have a big crowd against Delaware, so it was nice to see people come out. And then just to get a win, put us back on track. Ryan, how did you feel? I mean, you've had a couple games. I've had, I think, you mentioned that you had some back issues and stuff like that. that was that affected your three-point shot? It seems like it's coming back the last few games. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, especially not, not the last couple games, but the games prior to that. Uh, yeah, I was having some back issues, uh, some lower left back issues. So uh, I'm, I'm glad that's finally cleared up. Ever since that's cleared up, I, I seem to be moving better and playing a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, I do feel like that did contribute to the shooting slump, uh, mini shooting slump I did go through. Cameron will bring his players. What do you think the key was tonight? Because I noticed you guys got kind of some rough starts the road. Getting off to that good start, getting up by 20, was that key? Uh, I kind of mentioned it to the guys that in the huddle that they beat us twice. I mean, they stunned us in the tournament last year, and they beat us a few a few months ago. So, kind of just set the tone from there that we got to end the streak of them beating us. So, you know, unfortunately, I didn't play that last game, but I got a chance, opportunity to come out and fight with them today. So, I feel like the energy was great. Everybody had a, a great vibe in the locker room, and I feel like that was a way too quick start. Jake, uh, Cam, what was the message like today? You guys went up 33 early on in the game. Um, this last uh, really the single digits pretty quickly. What was the message? Um, credit to Scary. He kind of looked at the captains like who's gonna land a plane or something. So uh, we stayed calm during they run. You know the game is a game of runs. So I feel like they threw they we threw our punch early. wasn't a knockout. They threw their punch back and we continued to fight and came out on top. Good. Good. Thanks, guys. Thank y'all. Appreciate you. Thank you.